Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to get everything set up to start working with and start writing programs in C++. In order to set this up, we're actually gonna need two different things. The first thing we're gonna need is a text editor where we can write our C++ programs. And really for C++, you can use any text editor that you want. Um, so a lot of people might use like something like text edit or maybe a, a different text editor. In our case, we're gonna be using something called an IDE, which stands for Integrated Development Environment. And there's an IDE, which is called Code Blocks, that is specially designed for writing C++ programs. So I'm gonna show you guys how to download that. We're also gonna need one more thing which is going to be a C++ compiler. And basically this is just a program that takes our C++ code that we write and it translates it into a language that the computer can understand. So when we wanna run our programs, when we want to you know, execute the programs uh, with the computer, we can use this compiler to translate the C++ that we write into computer code. So. The first thing I wanna do is show you guys how to get that compiler. And it's possible that if you're on Mac, you might already have it. Um, but what we wanna do is go up here to this uh, search bar and we're just gonna type in terminal. And I'm just gonna click enter and this should open up the terminal. This is basically just a window or a program that we can use to interact with the computer using text commands. So down here, we wanna check to see if we already have the C++ compiler installed. So you just wanna type in GCC hyphen V and just click enter. If you have GCC, which is the C compiler we're gonna be using installed, then all this stuff should come up with like a version number and, and everything. Um, if this doesn't come up, in other words, if you know it says that you don't have it, all you need to do to get this is just say Xcode select hyphen hyphen install. And this is gonna go off and install everything that we need for C++. So I'm just gonna click enter. And I already have these installed. So these are like command line tools. You can see I already have them installed, but if you don't already have them installed, then this will basically just prompt you to install them. Once that installer is done running, then you can just check to make sure that you got GCC. So you can just say GCC hyphen V and make sure that you have it. So once we have this uh, C++ compiler installed and we've run this Xcode select install command, now what we wanna do is get a text editor. So like I said, we're gonna be using a special text editor called Code Blocks, but really you can use any text editor that you want. Um, so I'm gonna go down here to my browser and I'm over here on this website, uh, codeblocks.org. And this is the website where we can download this program, Code Blocks. I'm just gonna click Downloads. And over here, there's a couple options. You wanna click on the option that says Download the Binary Release. So I'm gonna click this and you'll see there's this little like list here, just click on Mac OS X, and this will bring us down here. So it's basically just a zip file that contains the code blocks application. Over here, we can download it from SourceForge. I'm just gonna click this, and this should redirect us to SourceForge and download the file for us. When code blocks is done downloading, I'm just gonna go over to my downloads folder and we'll see what we get. So we just got this zip folder, I'm just gonna double click it and you'll see over here we get the code blocks application. So what you should do is take this and drag it over to your applications folder. That way OSX knows that this is an application we wanna use. Then you have everything that you need to start writing C++. So in the next tutorial, we're going to set up a project in code blocks. We're gonna set up our first C++ file and then we're gonna run it and we'll just get everything set up and ready to go. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.